Hi guys. This is my catio. Not very big, but it's something. All right, so unfortunately, two of my files were unusable and broke somehow. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. And one of them was unfortunately my intro for this video. So here it goes again. I was in Simsbury, which is right here in Connecticut. And there's a new disc golf course, a future project. This place is called Tower Ridge Disc Golf. And it's on an abandoned golf course. It's still a super rough layout, super rough track, but the baskets are in and these guys really wanted me to come check it out and I'm pretty stoked about it. So hope you still enjoy the video. Most of it was usable and I had a really great time. So here we go, back to Connecticut. Good. Should I go for eagle or should I lay up for birdie? Go for eagle. Oh, good layup. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, the wind slowed it down what? so much. What? So short. Oh my <laughs> god, that wind is nuts. Mm. Alright, hole three, another par four. Three par fours in a row to start off. Warming up. Barely. If you hear loud noises in the background, there's a gun range, I think, right on the other side of these trees. Um, but here we go. Upshot, sky gun. <laughs> three for three on a roll. Get in the hole. Woohoo! Short. We're on hole five, I think? Yes. We're on hole five. Under 300 feet, so we have a little mid range shot here. Come on. What a weird flight. This is the first putt of the day. Those are never good, just an excuse. Oh, went in. Oh my gosh, couldn't back it up though. This tee pad is gonna be challenging, just high grass, thick grass. But we have a tailwind, we're going up the hill, over 500 feet, par four. I don't think I can reach it, um, but I'll try. Oh boy, this is far. All right, I'll take the upshot. Another eagle chance. He can't do it, folks. Hole seven. What did you say, 1400? About 13 to 1400. 13, 1400 feet, par five. Pretty much just following the golf fairway, left to right, and then elevated basket at the end. I'm trying to get an eagle. Okay, in position, probably way too short though. So we're almost through the front nine and you're gonna have a soft opening this weekend. Correct. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah. And then you really wanna get things going here when? Uh, spring of 2022, we're planning on installing tee pads around then and making the course a little bit more permanent and go from there. We're gonna open a pro shop around that same time and so it's basically everyone has to come check it out. Everybody has to come check it out, have fun. Is it's it going to be pay to play or what's the It's going to be pay to play. Um, right now we're thinking 12 walk-ins, 10 online. Yeah. For, uh, for weekdays. And then we'll go from there. People come in and, and, and enjoy the property. And then when the beer garden and all the amenities are up and we'll have the uh, 
also got the members only lounge with pool and darts and wow whatever else they're gonna have living the there. dream i think yeah. another hot spot for disc golf coming up here we are just outside of hartford connecticut and i'm only an hour and a half away so i'm gonna stop by every time i get a chance because it's gonna be sweet awesome awesome all right let's keep playing Still about 200 feet away, but that's what the forehand's for. Get it close. Oh boy, drop. Not a terrible result, but that's gonna be a tricky putt to make on that elevated basket. No. That's the Hugh Blind Tower putt. Hole eight, I'm going PD2 because I'm old and weak. So, a little hyder shot. Just get it around the tree. Go in the basket. Ooh. Oh. What did I hit? You hit a tree. Dang it. Um. I've had one par on the par five. Other than that, I've been just destroying this track. I uh, know, fun place. Looking forward to the back nine. Apparently the back nine is gonna be more, much more elevation, trickier shots, some shorter holes, more technical. And looking forward to that. And this is pretty cool because they are all in on disc golf. Like this is gonna be full on disc golf, beer garden, pro shop, music. I can't wait. Tough low ceiling turnover shot. And hopefully I can get it high enough, but not too high. Dude, it literally an inch lower and that's so right on it. Finished front nine style. All right, let's get to the get to the tricky holes. I think, right? Camera man says maybe. Perfect layup. Baskets right in the trees over there. Little 150 foot turnover shot. P1 ace is the tool. Oh, get it up, you little... Mm. Nine under. All right, welcome to hole number 11. I think the shortest hole so far, at least one of them, but a super tight gap going through a row of trees here to a basket that's almost blind. So I'm gonna have a catch cam out there for you to show where this disc land. It's so crazy what happens to golf courses when they're like neglected for a couple years. Just crazy, this place is a mess, but those guys are the real deal, I think. They're gonna clean it up and make it look real nice. We're up here on the mountain now. Might be a bit windy in the mic, so sorry. But uphill blaster, 330 feet, almost 50 feet elevation. I hope I can get up there, we'll see. Oh, just completely smoked it. That smashed. It's so short, it's gonna hit the stairs. Let's see if he makes it up the hill. No that Six. is the difference, ladies and gentlemen, between 950 and 1050. Oh wait, what are you? Something like that. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's just like the perfect moment. No wind. Basket. Awesome view. And. That could almost be a nature appreciation moment, just looking at the basket and this putt. Don't ruin it now. 
Oh, thank God I didn't ruin it. Alright, welcome to hole 13. We're on the top of the hill here. And we're going downhill. Short hole. A little mid-range. Just trying to beat the bushes down there at the corner. and Keep it low. I am not sure if that's good, but I think it's a putt. You know when you get a feeling you're gonna miss a short putt? That feeling is like zooming on me. Is that a word? Yes. Oh, I'm so happy I was wrong. All right, welcome to hole 14, another downhill. This is, this just looks fun. Downhill is one of the funnest things you can do in disc golf. And it's over 400 feet, but it's so hard downhill. I'm gonna try to float an MD3 down there. Camera ready? Am I ready? I don't know. You know what? For a first try in a hole like this, that's not terrible. I'll take a par. It's only my second par all around, right? Wow, so I'm 12 under now. I've been 12 under. Cool. That's the slow-mo montage signal. Welcome back to the real life and the missed putts or made. Oh, with the help of the brand. That's what I'm talking about. A little too straight, but I'll take it. Or birdie. Now why, do, why don't I putt like that in tournaments? Like, what's wrong with me? Yeah, you Can someone explain, leave a comment, why do I miss those in tournaments? <laughs> and on the vlog, it's so easy. What a round, what a place, awesome. One last crush to go, downhill. And we have a brand new PD2 for me. Let's do it. Oh, this way. Crush it. Oh my lord, that is such a waste of a trip. That's because I've never thrown that disc before. I don't know how it flies. Not a great drive, but still a chance for birdie. Just gotta pull the hyzer up and around that tree and I should get a putt. And you know I'm making all the putts right now, so it doesn't even matter where I throw this. I'm gonna try the double putt. I haven't tried this in, in years, but this is the locked one putt up and then shoot a second one at it, and the second one goes in before the second, before the first one. This is only a one take. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It was not bad. I'll take it, but we're done. I'll count the second putt because it's a birdie. So I shot like 16 under. Did I shoot 16 under? Just played 18 holes at Tower Ridge Disc Golf here in Simsbury, I think that's how you say it, Connecticut, and so promising. I mean, it's still in super rough shape, not nowhere close to done really, but the vision is there, um, the support is gonna be there. 
Maybe I would tweak some things with the design here. I mean, of course, we're not catering to touring pros here, but uh, it was a bit on the softer side, especially the par fours. It was mostly just jump putts for eagles. But man, what an awesome property. I'm pretty stoked. And at the same time, we're jealous of these guys that they get to have this playground now. And lucky for us, they're into disc golf and disc golfers. So man, hope you enjoyed. What an awesome place. Great time. Thanks to the guys for inviting me. And as always, like and subscribe. Enjoy the shot of the day and see you at the next one. Peace, USTGC time. Woo. Here we go. It's May like 25th or something. 27th. It carries. Hey! <laughs>